Okay, this is everything you're going to need to make your little praying mantis home. You're going to need a, a plastic cup. Uh, these are like, I got these at the dollar store for like uh, six for a buck or something like that. I like them because they're plastic. You can cut through them real easily. You're going to have to end up cutting through it. And there's a top, you know, to it that fits on it nice and snug. Uh, they have different sizes too. So you're going to also need a glue gun. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have some praying mantises, you might as well just invest in a glue gun. They're only like three bucks. Because uh, you're going to have to build larger enclosures when you're, they start to grow uh, larger. You don't want to put them in something too uh, big or they won't be able to find their food. So you're going to need some glue sticks with that. Some screen. We uh, had to replace a screen on our screen door. So we had to buy a big roll of this. It ended up coming in handy. It's made out of plastic, but it's a good you know, screen because the enclosure is going to need to be ventilated. Some uh, sponge. I got these from the dollar store also for like seven for like a buck. Make sure, just make sure the ones that you use don't have the chemicals in them. They're just plain sponges, you know, no uh, solvents or nothing like that. You're going to need a uh, little piece of sandpaper, some tape, some paper towel, and some, something to cut the plastic uh, cup with. Either scissors or a knife. I like to use a knife. Okay, you're going to have to use, I like to use a knife. I just hold it like a pencil. And I go ahead and I just cut through the plastic. As you can see, I already cut a hole in this one earlier. Um, I just kind of like jabbed in there and then I just kind of followed it through. And it, it actually cuts through this plastic pretty easily. Um, so that's what I did right here. I cut it already. If you want, you can use some scissors to like kind of trim it up a little bit. You don't want any barbs on here or anything like that. So I use uh, sandpaper just to like sand it down a little bit. Okay, so I got the, uh, the hole cut out in the uh, plastic cup. As you can see, it cracked right here, but that's okay. I mean, these are kind of fragile, and they're so cheap. I mean, if you don't want it, you can just toss it. I'm just going to throw a little bit of glue on it, though, and kind of just make it solid. Um, all right, so you're going to want to get the screen. The easiest way I found to do this is just to lay the screen, screen down on the hole like that. And over here, we got our hot glue, uh, our glue gun going. And if you just lay the screen on, on the plastic, you can just put the glue right through it and it'll go right through to the other end. Just put a generous amount on there. See how I'm just kind of going along the outside of the, of the hole with the glue? Alright, so after we let the, uh, the glue dry, glue uh, dries pretty fast from the hot gun, from the glue gun. Um, I'm just going to use these scissors just, just to trim up the uh, excess screen. You know, so it looks kind of nice, you know. Okay, so now you got a nice little screen, you know, to let some uh, some air inside, uh, so your mantis can get some fresh air. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this top, and your mantis is gonna want to hang from the top of the enclosure a lot. That's where he's gonna probably spend most of his time at, and he's gonna need to molt most likely from up there as well. Uh, just get some paper towel, uh, piece of paper towel with your scissors. Just you know, cut a circle to go over the top of this. We're gonna tape it to the top, to the uh, the bottom of the of the lid. Just get your tape. I like I don't like to glue the uh, the the, um, the paper towel to the top because I want to change that every so often. I want the glue to really collect up there and stuff. And kind of the so I just get some tape. You know, I stick it right here on the inside. Just get your paper towel, just kind of lay it on top of there, and just stick it on there real good. All right, there you go. Now, with the remaining paper towel, what you can do, what I like to do, is I like to just kind of tear it up, 
And then what I'll do is I'll just crumple it up like this and just uh, this I do uh, like to glue to the top of this just because they'll want to hang from this and stuff and it's got to be nice and secure and I don't want to leave the adhesive out there like that. So what I'll do is I'll get a little piece, actually bigger than that, give me a piece of paper towel like that just to stick over the glue. What I'll do is I'll get this glue and I'll just dab it right there. Stick this in there. And then with this piece, I'll just put it right over the top like that. And it'll stick to it nice and neat. And you don't have to worry about your mantis getting glue all over them or nothing like that. I'm, I don't know if the glue is bad for them or not. I mean, I know people that glue stuff on the inside of their enclosures and it seems to be fine. Just kind of bend it a little bit. And I'll give them some texture. You know, to crawl around on. Um, next, you're going to get this sponge. Let me just go up here a little bit. You're going to get this sponge, and you're going to cut it so it can fit, you know, at the bottom of this. You want it to be at the bottom, but you want it to be nice and, you know, neat. You don't want it to be all bunched up in there. So you're just going to have to, like, guesstimate again, you know, the bottom of this. Oh, this probably be like something like maybe oh, maybe this is too big. You can just shove more pieces in there. I mean, it's no big deal. Great thing about sponges, you know, you can just kind of just kind of shove it in there. You know, make it fit. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just as long as it's, you know, just try to cover most of the bottom of the sponge. You know, kind of make it, try to make it kind of even, you know. Okay. And as you can see, I just kind of like got the pieces and shoved them in there. Get your, uh, your sandpaper and if you're, you're certain species some species it's kind of hard I mean it's it, when they get to a certain age and stuff like that it, it might be harder for them to uh, cling on to the side of the uh, plastic um, I know I got some mantises that are just I mean they just run around in here you know like it's nothing I got other ones that have a hard time holding on to the edge of the uh, enclosure so you can get some sandpaper and you can just kind of scratch it up in there you might want to leave some though so you can actually see them in there, you know, make sure they're okay and stuff like that because this is going to cloud up the side of your uh, enclosure. Okay, so after you get the sponge in there, you know, you scratch it up in there kind of nice. You got your top already made. You know, I just, you can put more in there just not for, you know, time's sake. I just put one in there, but you can put like two in there or something like that of these paper towels. They kind of like that to crawl up on and stuff like that. Um, just spray the inside. Uh, spray the sponge. If you if your mantis is inside your enclosure when you're spraying it, you want to put it on a fine mist. What's cool about these enclosures is if you're uh, if you have some uh, not that much time, you're kind of in a hurry, you can just kind of spray inside a screen. You know, just get inside there real good, give them some water, and you can just put your praying mantis in there. Close the top, and he's good to go. Um, if you have trouble finding these deli cups where you live at uh, you can go usually to like any deli I made this one out of a jewel um, container the lady wouldn't give it to me I had to buy a, uh, some uh, seafood salad or potato salad or something like that but you know, I just brought it home ate the stuff and then I cleaned it out put my my little uh, idolo in there I don't know if you can see it but she's in there hanging out okay the general uh, rule of thumb is to have your mantis enclosure um, the height should be three times the length of your mantis and the width should be uh, two times the length of your mantis so eventually they're gonna grow out of those uh, deli cups and stuff like that so you're gonna have to start putting them in something a little bit larger like this uh, right here I uh, got this with some uh, I purchased some pretzels and it came in this container right here it's plastic uh, and I as you can see I just kinda I put the uh, the little screen right there on the side right there 
don't know if you can see that or not, but um, you know, once you get the hang of the glue gun, you can pretty much, I mean, just find a plastic container, you know, at the store. They sell, I mean, cheese puffs and all kinds of stuff like that, and the plastic containers, you can just cut them up. The top is screw-on, but I don't um, <clears throat> screw it on because I have a little budwing in there. She's about to molt and stuff. I don't know if you can see her or not, but she's right there. Um, she likes to hang out on the top a lot, and if she's up there and I'm screwing the top off her, she might, you know, her head could hit the, uh, one of the sticks or something like that. So I just kind of place it on there. I don't screw it on, I just place it on there. That's good enough. She's not strong enough to open it up and get out of it, but, um, yeah, so the, uh, the height, the height of your, uh, enclosure should be three times its length and the width should be uh, about two times its length and that should give it enough room to be able to molt and stuff like that.